Hello, my kinder art friends. We are going to be starting a new lesson today, and we are going to be continuing to talk about the element of art space and how things that are closer to you are bigger, and as they get farther away, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, and so we are going to be looking at the artwork of Ted Harrison. Ted Harrison is a Canadian artist who makes these beautiful, bright and colorful landscapes. A landscape is a painting or picture of land. And so we're gonna create our very own winter landscape inspired by Ted Harrison today. So let's get started. Ted Harrison was an abstract artist who lived in Canada. He was inspired by the things around him and was more interested in shapes and colors than making things look realistic. Harrison created art inspired by the landscape he saw in the Yukon. He used a lot of vibrant colors and bold lines. He puts warm and cool colors next to each other, and he shows space in his artwork as well. So, okay, let's friends, go we ahead are going to create our landscape, our landscape by just Ted like Harrison. Ted Harrison. And Ted Harrison uses a lot of warm and cool colors. So, the warm colors are like fire. So, those are going to be at the front of the rainbow. That's going to be our reds, yellows, oranges, and pinks. And then our cool colors are like water. And so those are gonna be at the end of the rainbow, our greens and blues and purples. All right, so he puts his colors right next to each other, but he only uses colors that are on the rainbow. So not black or brown or white. Those are what are called neutral colors. And so what we're going to do is I'm gonna paint the background and we're gonna create squiggly lines just like Ted Harrison. If you do not have paint, you can use crayon or marker or whatever coloring utensil you have and do the same technique uh, creating different lines. And so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna start with some warm colors. I'm gonna get orange and I'm gonna create a squiggly line at the top of my paper and fill it in. And I'll get another warm color, I'll get yellow. And I'm gonna put my lines right next to each other. They're gonna be touching, but they're not blending in together. They're not mixing. Maybe I'll get a little bit of pink. So I'm using lots of warm colors. But now maybe I want to start with some cool colors. So I think I'll go with this blue green or turquoise color. And I'm going to change the squiggle line too. So I'm going to make it go down. a little bit more water and we're gonna fill up the whole paper with these squiggly lines putting our warm and cool colors next to each other just like Ted Harrison my create my finished background or sky for my landscape. I put my warm colors and cool colors next to each other just like Ted Harrison and used some squiggly lines and bold colors. And so next time we are going to collage some land on it to create a landscape and add some extra details to finish them off. So make sure to put this in a safe place to use for next time. Happy creating. 